There's a special trick as old as video itself that has always fascinated me, the match cut. Tying two shots together with a visual anchor is so simple yet so potent for storytelling. I've been trying to reinvent this for myself when it hit me. What if I combine visual animation with my love for physical media while infusing in the match cut? What if I create my own visual anchors? Well, now I really have something to work with. The first step, making the digital animation. I started with an idea I had in After Effects, but despite my efforts, I hated it. Fine, regroup and go again. This time in Cinema 4D. Four days of trial and error later, and there you go, render finished. And would you look at that? The animation itself even has two match cuts in it. I now had 54 frames to convert to the physical. Initially, I thought it would be easiest to order pre-cut stickers, but after speaking with a few companies and getting some quotes, yeah, not in the budget. So I took it into my own hands. At my local print shop, I had them produce an array of frames on vinyl. The sticker cutting was then up to me, so I got to work. essentially a type of stop motion animation, right? But have I done this before? No, and that's the reason I'm doing it. With all of these prepared, it was time for the fun part, temporarily vandalizing the city. I needed help documenting this process, so I recruited this guy to come all the way from France, who also happens to be my brother. As we progressed, something peculiar happened though. I found myself conflicted between being excited to finally be at the stage and the worry that I was just free falling through this project towards a mediocre result. I mean, how could I know how it would turn out besides just having faith? The further I went into this rabbit hole of the project, the more questions came up. Is this a waste of time? Will this even turn out how I imagine? Yeah, that's, that'll hold. It's okay, imperfections are part of it. A little animation. Can't keep up with him. Always a new texture, new surface. This man at the cutting edge of the mixed medium format. So far so good, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. I really hope this works. Bridging the gap from initial idea to final product is my holy grail of creativity. Each project I'm proving to myself that I can build that bridge in a new way every single time. Every piece I do is a descendant of all the projects I've ever done, each one built on what I've learned from trials past. And just like every generation of humans wants to improve on the last, I see my projects no different. Look, I have taken off most of the stickers, but I've left a few. <laughs> yeah, gotta... you know, I'm just casually admitting to crime. Yes, this is just a sticker animation, but the bridge I built for this project, the one that you don't directly see in the final result, is a silent testament to my growth and mastery. And if you treat everything you do in this way, whether it's personal or client work or really anything else, there is inevitable improvement. This took a lot longer than I thought, and I still have to do all the processing. But... I'm super excited to see it come together. Me too, I hope this works. I'm seeing all the photos in here and I'm like, I think it works. It but... literally already looks good with you scrolling through the stills. Yeah, well, we'll find out. I'll leave this section with a line from The Sopranos that has stuck with me since first hearing it. I think it's worth mulling over as we continue on this video's journey. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> All right, let's pause for a moment and talk the match cut itself. Now, everything I've done so far is in pursuit of a pretty complicated final result, but in actuality, the match cut itself is pretty simple. All it requires is taking at least one similar attribute from two different sources and lining them up. That's kind of it. This isn't a full in-depth lesson, but I'm pointing this out as a way to help you see there are always more ways to incorporate different types of visual shots in both your editing and animations. With that said, my favorite three match cut types are with shape, momentum, and color, but it'll just be easier if I show you some actual examples. Lights, please. Thank you, let's get right into the first example. As you can see here from my bubble animation, this paint-like bubble transitioning into this macro shot is an example of a match cut. We know this because the end of the first shot syncs up with the beginning of the second shot, specifically centering around the shape of the bubble. You could even say that the cut happening when the bubble is moving at its fastest is an example of a momentum match cut. On to the next example from my summer travel edit. I used a few match cuts in this video. The first one is a classic momentum match cut. By taking the motion of the camera moving to the left and syncing it up with the motion blur outside the bus, you get a seamless match cut. This is actually very similar to a shot I used earlier in this edit when making the montage. Also from the same summer edit is the use of a color match cut. As we can see here, the cyclist has a red jacket and then the following cut has a woman with a very similar colored umbrella. And now I didn't know this going into it, it was pure coincidence that this happened, but by looking at my footage with a certain eye looking for matching traits, I found these two and synced it up in the final edit. Thank you. This just scratches the surface. One major one that we didn't even get to is the audio match cut, but we'll save that for another time. Enough with the mini lesson for now though, let's get back to the main project. 
after finishing the day of captures around the city with only one minor hiccup. What just happened? We got stopped by uh, armed guards. Pretty sure they did a police background check, but they let us go because they realized we're fine, not a problem, but oh yeah, they didn't like what we were doing. <laughs> All that was left was to process everything I captured. This part was actually pretty straightforward, split twofold. Run the photos through Lightroom for basic color adjustments, and then take the frames into After Effects for final placement. Using the original animation as an overlay reference made this pretty easy. The final color grade was then just done in Resolve. And with all of that done, I'm here now telling you about it. I'm glad I did this piece, not only for how it turned out, but for the sake of building one more bridge for the bloodline that is my creative career. There isn't anything more to say except thanks for watching and enjoy the final piece.